Oh, metal, what's up, boy? L Rocket 75 Rich DM 650 Morgan Hill, what's cracking? Mo Money Anthony Vargas, what's up, man? You got the notification. What fuck? What's the fuck's going on, man? Jesse Mendez, Texas. Shout out to Texas, man. El Paso. CEO of Annoying Cholos. What's, what's, what's good, homie? Red Scorpion. I see you. Salad Bowl. Salad Bowl Smoker. What's up, man? Julie Tolson. What? What brings you around these parts, Julie? <laughs> Tiny Two Angels. What's up, man? Mondo E. What's good, man? Hey, wishing you a good weekend as well, my boy. Sam Romero. I see you, man. Nah, man, I'm about to, uh, right now, uh, L Rockets, just want to tap in with you guys real quick. I'm about to go get paid, though. I'm going to get mine. So I got arms tonight. My favorite. Finally feeling better. Thought I'd tap in. That's good, Ju- Julie. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad you feel better. Damn. Jerry, what's crack lacking Let's do it then. Hey, boxer. Is a CO allowed to help the North A and the South inmates? Shit. Are they allowed to? I don't know. As far as what? Like, allowed to as far as who's concerned? I mean, shit, they do what they do. You know, I just touched on that. I just did episode 30, 32 of Inner Demons. And uh, that's one of the things I talked about in there. It was crazy. I don't, I mean, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to say that I completed that episode before it gets put out. Cause I don't even know if it's up to par, man. I couldn't really get into it, but. At any rate, I, in, in that in that episode, I talked about some of the CEOs that were over there in Corcoran, man. What was the trip was that there was a CEO over there by the name of Hernandez. And um, he was straight. This cat, man, was uh, he would identify himself as a Northaniel. He was like, hey, I'm, I'm straight fucking Northaniel. I got family that are Northaniels. I got Marty McFly. I see you. Big Machete. You know, I got family that 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 are Northaniels. He's like, I don't give a fuck. This is what I represent. Like he was straight. That was what he was really representing. And a lot of the COs at that time were some of them, the females officers. They used to. Some of them used to sympathize for the for the South Siders. Some of them used to sympathize for for the Northaniels. What was the trip? Was because you guys got to remember, a lot of them had family. A lot of them had family that were in those wars from Southern California, whether it was brothers, cousins, whatever. And as a trip is the female officers used to wear like either little red, them, uh, what do they call them? Squinchies in their hair, in their bud, or they would wear a blue one. And that's how you, you knew if they were either, if they either sympathized with, with the North or the South, man, it's crazy, but that's what they were doing. And, a lot of these COs, you just knew that they who who their loyalty was with because they'd be on the tier and they'd be serving lunch or something, and you'd ask them for like, "Hey, can I get a roll of toilet paper?" And they just be real standoffish and be like, "See what's up later." And then you'd hear them go to the next door where there'd be like some Southsiders. Shout out to the Southsiders and. They'd be like, hey, what's up? What's up, little loco man? Uh, hey, what about that Dodger game last night, dog? You know what I'm saying? Uh, them motherfuckers look good, huh, homito? You know what I mean? And you'd be like, damn, straight up, man. But they used to do the same thing with, with us, man. It just depends. But that's yeah, a crazy question to ask right now because I just got through talking about that. Cold as fuck out here in Tahoe. 25 below salty rider what if they wore a red white 
<laughs> and red, white, and blue one. I guess they keep you guessing, homie. You know what I'm saying? I guess they keep you guessing, or that just meant that they fucking looked out for everybody. I ran into a CEO that was like that in Salinas Valley. He would look out tough and pleasant valley and was this was a CEO who was a South Sider. And he would give us the short end of the stick. Yeah, man. Some of them, some of them really got family that are locked up. They got relatives, so that's that's who they ride with. There was a lot of them like that in San Quentin, too, man. I know one that I always seen that's from Frisco. He's a, a Rasa. He got a, a, a big mustache and he, he looks like a homie. He's always wearing Ray Bands, but he, he fucks with the homies. You know, it's, it's crazy how they uh sometimes they get involved like that. What's up, Jose? I see you, man. Arch Archinega. Just dropped the bar on my chest. Thank God it was only 135 pounds. <laughs> yeah, boy, I'm going to get mines in a little bit. I did chest yesterday. Chest and uh, chest, shoulders, and wings, man. What's up, Cesar Castellanos? Rancho El Bambu. Most definitely. And that's all I'm going to say, man. If you only knew. I'm just saying, though. Uh. <laughs> yeah, bro. Straight up. Ain't no, it ain't no bullshit either. Hell nah. Julio Solario? Fuck no, man. Um, you know, uh, Corny and Pinky had said that uh, there was an attorney that they were looking into getting an attorney. Homie, I didn't hold my breath. I, I know how it goes. And uh, I wasn't expecting it. You know, I knew from I knew from the past, man, from just seeing what's happened in the past that I wasn't uh, I wasn't gonna get any more any kind of more preferential treatment than, than the next guy. When 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 you're out there and you're you're doing your thing, man, like I've said before, you're you're embraced and, and you're held in high high regards because you're generating money. But the minute that you get busted, you become a liability. Ain't nobody wanting to pay no fucking attorney fees. That, that's just like to them, it's like throwing money away, you know, and that money could be, you know, they could they could bank that money. Don't nobody want to pay five, 10 grand for no attorney. So, you know, even though I kept getting the, the hey, that attorney's coming, five months later, that attorney's coming. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting it, bro, but nah. I got done just like everybody else. Once they found out it was a life case and uh, it was a rap, that was it. Whatever happened to your neighbors in Seven Trees? From, um, I don't know what happened. I know they moved up out of there. All those cats moved. And when I got into that shootout, <laughs> you know, I ain't saying nothing. I, I mean, who am I to say something, man? But. I'll just say this, that when I got into that shootout, the female, um, the main one, his old lady, she she basically told the cops everything that, uh, she told them everything. She was like, I seen, I, I seen the police report. It was like, those guys that live up there or that guy that lived up there in that apartment, they were Nortanios and... The guys that came over here, they were Sureños, and that's what it was all about. And you know, that's 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 what the whole thing was over. And and she described what I looked like, and and she told them all the shit, man. 
Gabriel Barra, what's up, man? What's, what's cracking? Hit them likes from San Diego, man. Motherfucking Diego, hit them likes, man. Like the homie said, Box, thought he was slick with the chain steering. <laughs> hey, hey, man, I've been gone for so long. I thought I was doing something. I, I you know, I got a, a chain steering wheel. I thought that's, that's what, you know, I thought I was doing big things, man. Like, that's what I was supposed to do. Give me a chain steering wheel. And then the homies were like, bro, come on, bro. That's what you, you throw that on a fucking lowrider bike or something. You don't throw that on your, your fucking car. Man, ain't nobody doing that no more. Que pasa, hermano? Mideast Beast. What's up, man? Dan Wuski. I sent mine right back. Renee Q. Yes, you see Julie? Did you regret getting the NF tattoo when you got out? It seemed like it seemed like it, as you said, painted. Well, I mean, when I first got it, Rich DM 650, it, it, it was almost like um, you know, my mindset at that time was like, you know what, man, fuck it. I've already done like I had done so many years in the shoe at that point. I was like, I'm validated. They got me, you know, I'm on paper, so why not? They already know, so I might as well get that shit and represent it. Plus, you know, when 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 you become affiliated like that, man, and and, and you get tipped up, you want to let people know. We all do, man. I, I don't care who you are. Uh, you know, you you feel a sense of pride about it, and you know you want people to know that you're representing that. So there was, but I tell you what, the first time I caught a case, that's when I realized it, and I made a bad mistake. First time I caught a, a case where I was looking at life was the time I caught a case out there in Mendocino County. And uh, I knew they were going to parade me into the courtroom like some big NF shot caller uh, that got caught up with, you know, some little time cat. And this guy's pressuring that guy into taking the case. And, uh, I knew that tattoo wasn't doing shit to help me at that point, man. Four nine bloodline stocked on tapping in right. That's that's right, stocked on. Who throws a better single than Miles? Song or Song Fran? Come on, Sess. Why are you trying to do me like that, boy? It depends, man. It depends on what kind of sink with a mile you're looking for, homie. Frisco, man, you know they got the carnivals and, and, and they're out there in the Mission District doing their thing, man. I don't know. Both of them, both of them do their thing on on, on sink with a mile. But I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go with the home team. And the ultra, I'm I'm good, homie. You know. Yes, sir. Rich DM650. Hey, so did you ever find out who those cats were talking about in that cat's um that that cat's live the other day, man? Somebody tapped in with me and told me that uh was like, hey man, they're saying that uh they're saying that you got busted, that you're you got arrested and, and you went to jail for, for like what? Come on, man. I sure didn't know nothing about getting arrested if it was me, but I, I think they're talking about that other boxer. Alex, um, I believe probably right now they probably do. Because nothing's, you know, the, the, everything's still kind of up in the air right now. They they probably got some some influence. They they left the state with a lot of influence. I mean, they're just they caught a case. They brought them over there, so there's no reason why they they wouldn't. When you were running the streets. Did you dress to keep a low profile or stand? Nah, man. Low profile, uh, Mark 9400, straight up. I wasn't out there flamed up or none of that stuff. I don't dress like that. 
I was trying to stay under the radar, especially out there in San Jose. I was trying to keep a low profile, man. Off the radar. How does the NF power feel? You ever put homies in their place? You ever have a homie use your name? For, oh, yeah. That, that goes with everybody. Familia, you know, straight up, man. People name drop and use name for names for leverage all the time. As far as the power, um, I would. I wasn't one of those guys that 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 uh, I was not no power trip or nothing like that. Or, that was never me, you know. Um, as far as putting homies in their place, I mean that comes with that comes with the job. It comes with any 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 kind of leadership position, you know. It wasn't something I got off on though. But you know, I tell you, like a lot of a lot of the cats that worked with me would end up end up they would all end up getting we all got indicted somebody from my regiment and ended up testifying against all of us in the grand jury in the grand jury uh um, hearing and um you know this is what they used to do it's like i didn't used to make my rounds i didn't go out there on the streets running running down the homies i wouldn't that was that was my second in command's job. That was his job to go out there and see what they were doing. But come to find out, he was smoking. He was smoking meth as well. They were all getting loaded, man. But I remember one day they told me that I pulled up to one of the homies' pads and there was like six of them in there. And they all started opening up the windows. Ah, fucking bees here, man. And, and they started fanning out the fucking uh, smoke and shit. So... That give you an idea of of kind of how I was moving around out there. Hey, boxer, you should do a video on Chicago Mexican gangs. They got different Mexican gangs out there. It's not like North Angeles, North Angeles and Cali. Yeah, it's different out there. What's cracking, Sarah? You know, same old, same old. Earlier, bro, round two. My blood sugar was high. Took 50 units insulin. Went to take a nap. Just woke up. Not able to see right. Dizzy, lightheaded, and can't steady myself. Checked it again. Man, Torsky, you better get that shit taken care of, man. But hopefully, you got somebody there with you, man. Uh, it sounds like uh, you got you got uh, diabetes. Man, um. The novella says, yeah, I don't get into it, homie. I mean, they, they get views, but it, the views are not that important to me. You know what I mean? Uh, four nine bloodline and says. I'd rather just do my thing, man, and stay the fuck out the way. Stay, stay away from all that, all that negativity. Glock fam, what's good, man? Stinky Farms. Pedro, did you ever meet any carnales that came out of King City or were they just... I never met no C's out of King City, no. I'm sure there probably was, though. Discovery Bay listening, waiting on your, your cooking show. <laughs> I got you, man. Raymond M. Box, what's up, SN? Four away in SJ, what do you think about? I ain't, I'm not even going to go there, bro. With all due respect, homies, like, man, there's, there's always something going on, man, but I'm just... No comment. You know, when I start doing reaction videos, you guys stop watching me, man. Seriously. Start doing reaction videos about my own reaction videos about my own reaction videos. 
Stop watching me, man. The MS and beef seemed to settle down fast. Yeah, it did. Montana, what's man? Montana, Fontana, Montana, Daniel, old person. Hey, shout out to Montana, man. After I get my workout out the way, I sometimes hook up a spread. Do you still hook up some? Hell yeah, man. Jose, I got to have have a spread every now and then. Every now and again, man, uh, uh, I want a good fucking salt rush. Hey, you know what? Uh, you know what I'm missing, though, man, is, is that cheese spread. You can only get that shit in jail. That's cold, huh? I can't find the kind of cheese spread that we used to use in jail. Like that, that cactus ante jalapeno cheese spread. That shit's the bomb. Out here, there's nothing that I can find that, that tastes even close to that shit. I've looked on eBay. I've looked on, on Amazon. <laughs> if somebody got a plug on that shit, or what do you guys do? Bro, did you ever, did you ever meet Big T? Dablas? Oh, oh, you talking about... Uh, 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 from Florencia, yeah. Him and his brother. They're both up there in the Bay. I ran across them. I've never been in the same block with them, but I've been over there in the law library with them. Dablas, and he's got a brother named Mo. I did a spill on him. Uh, I can't remember right now. But yeah, there's, there's some cool cats, man. Been looking for a few years myself. <laughs> Can you find the dehydrated beans? Fuck, I can't find none. Of well, yeah, I think they they do have those, and some of those, some of those uh, carnicerias, those those like those Mexican style stores. Some of them have, I think those those dehydrated beans. Said, what do you need, bro? I got it. Puro queso y yeso. <laughs> okay, get, shoot some motherfucking jalapeno cheese squeeze. Cactus Annie. Did I ever meet Big Tone? Big Tone. Which Big Tone from Antioch? <laughs> Big Tone from Antioch. Order a package from Walking Horse and have it sent to the pad. Can you do that, Anthony Vargas? <laughs> Babo, there you go. Babo from uh, Florencia. You know, be honest with you guys, man. I, I mean, I did a, I did a spill on it. I already talked about it, but Babo, Babo was actually. It, instrumental in in helping to establish that whatever you want to call it you want to call it a peace treaty a standstill an agreement in um uh, in the state between the north Daniels and the sureños babo and um uh, babo was was next door to who was it was it I want to say DC. So DC was was set up either next to Babo or Chato from from Maravilla, and Chuco was set up next door to the other one. I think Chuco was was next door to, to Chato. I get it at the ninety nine cent store. Hell no. Jose, I'm not just talking about any kind of cheese squeeze only. I'm talking about that jailhouse fucking 
cactus any cheese squeeze jalapeno cheese squeeze no motherfucking notifications man fuck that let's let's do something about this man dancing bear what demo ranches saludos Yeah, Caesar. Um, I, I'm I'm aware of the channel. Lucky three twenty three. I stay out here in Bakersfield, and I got family over there in Delano, so I hear about the shit that's going on. Hey, would you knock out thirty two Sorenos in Pelican Bay? <laughs> oh, to big you. Come on, man. Ain't nobody knocking out 32 Southsiders, man. Ain't nobody knocking, uh, you know, uh, it's it's not my business, but um, I mean, just just common sense will tell any any of us that uh, you know, just when you look when you look at it, if you've ever been a part of any of those. If you've ever been to prison and you've been a part of those those type of wars, you know yourself, man, that that's, there's no truth to something like that. There might be somebody that might put in some work and might knock some cats down, but you ain't knocking, you ain't mowing down 32 cats. It it, it ain't gonna happen. And you know, you gotta you gotta be there to to do it. You can't. Can't talk about you know being in, in a certain place that you've never even been to. Yeah, right. With, with it, what he said. Sup, everyone. Sparky Bub, Tommy Guru, Q O Boxer, straight from East Los. Man, shout out to East Los. I got worse shooting four to five weeks. And so the, another thing that I was talking about in this episode that I just did right now is, is anybody, anybody that was part of the Corcoran Wars, if there's anybody on here that was a part of them, then you guys should, should have heard something about the exploding bullet, the rumor that was going around. It's something that I, that I, uh, I clarified in this last episode, but there was, there was never no exploding bullet. Like, like, uh, I think that was just an, another one of those type of rumors that was going around that ended up getting hyped up, you know, just like when Pelican Bay first opened up, everybody was saying that there's a shower that comes to your door and you read your, your mail over a TV screen. I just dropped it tonight, GS. So, it should be going out if it's even droppable. I don't. I don't feel like I. I. I, um, I feel like I could have done it better. I probably started it over like fifty fucking times, bro. But we'll see. Sandman's going through it right now. But like I was telling you guys in episode thirty-one, the homie had good intentions. The homie that was over there talking about that was trying to educate some of the other homies. <laughs> Caesar, I'm I'm aware of 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 all these. I've been on YouTube for almost close to five years only so i'm aware of all these other channels um i don't know how they're representing themselves you know um yeah um i don't know how people represent themselves but i'm gonna just leave that up to them you know i would hope that people have enough gumption to be straight up about it but that's on there man i i can't speak on it um 
anyway, what I was what I was saying is, so it was being hyped up. It was almost like people were saying that there's this new bullet that that was blowing up that everybody was talking about back then and i think what it was man is that the homie like i said in um this last episode i think what happened was the homie just he got hit and it blew his fucking leg up he fucked his leg up so bad that he was just he thought that there was some kind of new bullet that came out that really was just blowing up what it was is we heard that that cdc was trying to introduce a new bullet and the way that they were justifying it was that was because a lot of people were getting hit with with bullets that were ricocheting off the walls or they were getting hit with shrapnel so they supposedly they were going to introduce a bullet that would just basically disintegrate with whatever it hit and you guys know for those of you that know a little bit about bullets and and how they work like that's that's why the hollow points were 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 created ebk i see you boy a hollow the conventional hollow point bullets they 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 were made because they they minimize ricocheting and when it hit somebody it wouldn't go through somebody and hit somebody else that's how that's how hollow points work um but what i think they were talking about is that there's a bullet that's called the it's called the um <clears throat> what the fuck was it called? I had it. It's an expansion bullet. It's an expansion bullet. And then the bullet they were talking about, it's a Winchester, it's a Winchester uh, uh black talent SXT bullet. I've actually I've seen them before. They call them cop killers, man. On the front of the box, it's like a a bear a bear claw. But what it is, it's a bullet. And a lot of people think that they're made out of um, that they're made out of out of Teflon. It's not Teflon. What it is 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 it's it's oxidized copper. It's black oxidized copper. That's what it is. It's not it's not uh, Teflon. But so the bullet, it's a. It's a hollow point bullet and it's got six pre-scored serrations in it. So basically six lines. And when it travels through the air, like any other bullet, it opens up. But this bullet opens up like, so those six pre-scored serrated lines, it opens up like a fucking flower, like a claw. And it fucks you up when it hits you. But when whatever it hits, it basically disintegrates. and if it hits you, it's going to fuck you up. So I think that's what the homie was. He was getting it mixed up with something like that, man. It got hyped up that this was a, a bullet that was blowing up inside of people. And like it was some kind of, it had some kind of shrapnel in it. That fra uh, the fragmented bullet. There is a bullet. It's called the, what is it? The fragmented bullet or something like that. Just leaves an air cavity in you. Exactly. Exactly. That's what a hollow point does. Hollow points to fuck you up. Hey, is it true? Kumi 415 try to make a peace treaty with the MA and Corcoran 95. And the only ones that was with us in Corcoran, honestly. And I got I got nothing but love and respect for for uh, for the Africanos, man. Is 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 the Sangres in the in the in the in the Jama? Those are the only ones, man. The Crips, Crips, and shout out to the Crips, man. But they were the Crips were like, you know what? It's that's not our that's not our conflict. We're not getting involved, and you know that's not our business so unfortunately man at that time i was just a guppy man you know so the 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 powers that that existed at that time were basically telling us to just take off on the crypts too unfortunately you know i i never got put in that situation but there was a lot of homies that were in sections with crips and when they went out to the yard because 
they took that position, the homies were just taking off on them as well, man. Yeah, that's that's what was happening. Hell yeah, sis. Not supposed to. They ever run into Nate Dog 916 from Sacramento in there? Uh, he said he been, he was in there. Daily City Norte, what's up, boy? I know my primo Doughboy was in Corcoran, but don't know if he was in the wars. Doughboy from where, uh, Torsky? Saludos from San Antonio. Shout out to San Antonio. Who is the prominent Asian gang when you're on the streets in San Fran? The, the, the hip sings and the the watchings and the Joe boys, man. They had shit sold up out there. They had shit sold up out there, Sparky Buff. That's where we used to get all our guns at that time. And uh, and the motherfuckers always had fireworks, man. Bricks of bricks of firecrackers and, and uh, half quarter sticks, full sticks of dynamite. <laughs> They're wanting to try the federal, but too lazy. Uh, I stick to the regular. I'm lost with, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I heard a man is chained in Sundown's basement. That's why he's MIA. Yeah, what happened to a man's man? He pick up a six month county sentence or something. Shrimp Boy looks like the one. Yeah, Shrimp Boy. You know, you know about Shrimp Boy, huh, Timo? When it started is Rydell Regosa. U2F Keys box. Did you ever get? Did you ever get on Mexican Mike's boat? With China man in them. Mexican Mike's boat. I didn't even know he had a boat. Nah, man. I'm sure, if you would have lived a little bit longer, I would have. San Cal 805. Good looking out, my boy, man. I sent mine right back at you, man. Rest in peace, a man. <laughs> there is a badass boxer out of San Antonio, Bam Rodriguez. Yes, sir. A man got tired of all the bullshit. He don't tap in no, and no more. They falsely accused him of being a troll. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> hey, man, it's the channels that he was tapping into, Farmetto. That's it had to be, you know, because when a man's was over here, man, there wasn't no drama. But you know, you you get into them channels. Where all that craziness is, psh, sounds like he got traumatized, man. Ah, Anthony Vargas. Nah, he ran himself off, man. Legendary. You ever feel bad about a removal you were ordered to do? So you went and warn the person before it happened. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I, I warned a homeboy of mine uh, in Susanville back in, 
I want to say back in 1991, my homeboy Caesar Castile from the city, he, he'd been out there with us on the yard for like, I don't know, he's out there with us for about four or five months. I know him from the streets, know him from the county jail, done, I done shit with him out there on the streets, man, we got a history. And um, somebody start hating on him, man. Damn, we were gonna hit him on the next yard, and, and I told him, it's like, bro, it's all bad, man. These cats, these cats want to move on you. It's probably the only, the only situation I can think of that, that I warned somebody, that I felt bad about. I feel bad about that Sapo removal, Sapo from Oakland, but I didn't warn him. I, I ended up hitting him. I think it was a bullshit call. It happens more often than you think. Homies get put. Hey, you know what? Uh, Mad Max 408, check it out, man. So I'm in the county jail in San Jose. There's a homeboy named Slimer. Some of you might know him from, from San Jose. He's on the tier with us, right? Slimer's on the tier. He sailed up with Looney out of SJG. So for whatever reason, I don't remember the circumstances, man. For whatever reason, Slimer stressed out. He stressed out about something. He stressed out. Him and his celly ain't really fucking. They're not eating. They're really not even communicating in the cell. Oh, man. They're not communicating in the cell. And at one point, Slimer somehow communicates to the CO when the CO is walking by on, on, the, on the tier. Communicate somehow, some way, while Looney's in the cell. Next thing you know, he's getting cuffed up. I'm in the cell next door and I'm like, what the f I, cause I didn't hear the CO tell neither one of them anything. They just started cuffing one of them up. Pull Slimer out, Slimer's walking down the tier. So I'm like, hey, where's your celly going, bro? He's like, I don't know. What the fuck you mean you don't know? You, you, you live with the dude, what the fuck did he? What did the CO say? What did what did he say? How did he just get cuffed up and walk out the cell? He's like, bro, he been on quiet all day, man. We ain't really been talking. I had my back turned. I was reading my book. <laughs> man. Homeboy walked off the tier with the celly and locked it up. Yeah, that was crazy, man. That was crazy. Yeah, he fucking knew. Straight up, bro. Come on. You, you know how it goes, man. If you're in the cell with somebody like that, are you going to let your celly just walk out the cell on an active tier? You got a couple NF members on that tier, and you guys are the only ones in that cell. You're going to tell me that you're going to allow your celly to cuff up Go through all the motions, not say nothing to him, let him walk out. And it was something funny about that. Anyway, Looney ended up, I, and I like Looney too, man. I had a lot of love for that cat, but he ended up going to the joint and uh, he tried to commit suicide. So the homies moved on him, almost killed him. One of you asked me a question about that. So there's your answer. You asked me if, if, if a homie tries to commit suicide, is that justification for removal? Yes, it is. If you try to hurt yourself, you will be removed. Because the the whole, the way that it's looked at is, is if you're trying to hurt yourself, if you're thinking about committing suicide, you're, you're already a weak link. You know, you get to a point where you want to commit suicide, um, you're not... You're obviously unstable and you can't you can't be trusted. So you're gonna get removed. Box, did his celly get hit after that? No, man. Lo Looney Lou was, was on the tier, and, and at the time I was going through my shit, but I and I was on freeze. 
but it was almost like I wasn't on freeze. I was practically still running the tier because everything that I was going through, everything that was happening over there in Santa Clara. So this was when I came back and I was on the tier. I was back on the tier with the homies. I was over there for 17 months programming with these guys. I'm I, Technically, I should have been on freeze. I shouldn't have been involved in nothing. Should have just been shut down, just giving my due respect, and that's it. But I was practically still running the fucking jail, man. And um, when homeboy walked off the tier, I was the one that spoke up and said something. He was my neighbor. I'm like, hey, bro, uh, uh, where's, where's Slimer going? And he's like, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What the fuck? What did he say, bro, when he was walking out of the cell? Or what did the CO say? Like, what did he just come over there and cuff him up? And he was like, I don't know, man. It was like I was sitting there reading my book. And the next thing you know, I turned around and he was getting cuffed up. And he walked out and he didn't say nothing. <laughs> That's the kind of shit that was going on over there in that county jail. That's the kind of shit that was going on, man. Hey, homie, when you get there and be, become a big homie on either side, does that street bullshit just don't matter? Huh? B-low, man, always coming through like a motherfucking freight train. Good looking out, B-low, man. You know I love you like a rock, boy, and that's solid. Uh, good looking out, B-Lo, man. I appreciate it, homie. Real talk, man. Boxer, what other NF guys you didn't like other than Lencho? Honestly, bro, there wasn't a... Uh, there wasn't, well... There wasn't really any other NF members that I can think of that I can say that I honestly didn't like. Uh, I, I didn't really care for, for uh, Weddle, Abundis. And, and it wasn't personal, but it was just based on the fact that that was Lancho's right-hand man. And he came in the county jail when Lancho came in there and jumped on that fucking bandwagon and started pushing that agenda that Lancho was pushing. And that cat didn't know nothing about me. He was a new, he was a new, uh, he just barely got put on and already trying to kick up some dust, man, with this fucking tyrant. So I didn't really care too much for him because of what he was doing but as far as like there wasn't really too many C's that I can that I can think of that that I didn't like even up in the bay the ones that I'm thinking about I, most of them were all they were all good people as far as as I remember That boxer got baptized by Sir Dino. Uh, yeah, legend has it the writers found T Moist. <laughs> Lecture was good at winning homies over to his side, usually homies that didn't know any better. Yeah, you heard about what happened to uh, uh, uh Farmetto. Good looking out, my boy. I appreciate you, my brother. You already know, man. Especially right now. Where's uh? Hey, did you did you hear about um? Did you hear about Chinito, what, what uh, Lencho did to Chinito over there? 
Chinito, where's Chinito from? BMLs? Big Moose, what's up? Big Moose, Gil Romero. I appreciate you, homie. Nate Gonzalez. Go Astros. What about Big Smiley? Big Smiley, um. Big Smiley was all right, Swifty Red. He was okay. I, I bumped heads with him a little bit. But for the most part, he was. On a personal level, he was all right, man. I mean, what he ended up doing later on, he self-destructed. Look at Big Figures, man. Big Figures, boy. That's See that far metal? Boom. Look who stepped in the room. In style, man. Big figures taking my line. <laughs> as far as, as personally, uh, Big Smiley was all right. But what he ended up doing later on in D facility was all bad. Yo, Box, you've been, you been from Frisco's. Any business savvy you think with Twitter laying off people going low on prices came? Huh? Good looking out, big figures, man. You know I appreciate you, my boy. Straight up. You've been from Frisco and business savvy. You think with Twitter laying off people going low in prices, crying up, go back to the old Frisco. I, I doubt it, man. I don't see it, but you never know. They clean Frisco up, man. Tell me funny when he asked you a question. A lot of people in tech moved in the past two years because we all went remote. It probably won't affect housing prices. What's going on, boxer? What's new, my boy? Oh, man, you know, same old, same old. Ain't a damn thing new, homie. What about, uh, what about old boy, though, man? What's his name? Uh, what about fucking, uh, what's his name, man, that's playing for the Niners right now, though? Cat they just signed, man. White cat. Triple threat. Dusty slew a boxer. Would you have sided with Rico or Copas after the Mikey incident? I was, I was, I did, I did make uh take a side in that disagreement right there, Dusty. I was aligned with Copas. Cats didn't know it though. Copas was backing up Mikeo. Rico was was obviously on the other side. Um, damn, what you guys got going on in there, man? McCaffrey, yeah, McCaffrey. That that fool's doing his he's doing the damn thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, time is money. Elmwood was always required to uh, tap in. They had to submit weekly rosters. They had to do everything else that the old jail and the new jail was doing. And as far as it being loose, that that is true. Elmwood was a lot looser than than the old new jail. Yeah, uh, seems like he's built. He's built for that shit, though. Big figures. He's a little. Uh, he's a little tank, man. But you're right, though. You know, uh, uh, you can only take so much, so much uh, physical abuse in the NFL, man. Before. I mean, there's some big boys hitting you, man. So sooner or later, you will get hurt. How wasn't there already a 19th Street North Daniel Gang established? Same thing with other places. There was an 18th Street North Daniel Gang, believe it or not, Vallejo, Cali, but still it, it had no effect on what, what they were doing out there. Those cats came in strong and they set up quick. Straight up. A lot of the homies that would have done something about it were all in, in the joint at that time. So when I came out, they were already established. Did I get along with 22nd Street Hogs? Yeah, I got along with a lot of them I grew up with. I ended up, uh, I got into it with, with Smiley from 22nd. Little Beretta, I don't know if you know Beretta, his dad is Malo. SFPD killed him out there, but he was a good little dude, man. CB, I think CB's from uh, 22nd. CB fucking uh also ended up I, I fought what's his name uh, uh the one that died man uh, that everybody talks about fuck's his name help me out man what's the homie's name that everybody talks about out there that died in the mission When we were kids, uh, Denise Vargas shot the Blinky. Yeah, Blinky. There you go, Morgan Hill. <laughs> Get on, boy. I fought Blinky when we were kids, man. Me, him, and uh, uh, Squeaky from 30th Street. We all got arrested for fighting right there on 20, 24th in Valencia. Uh, Valencia. Remember, I was in the back seat of the cop car kicking that fool, too, man. I hear Blinky came up, came up a lot. Yeah, he, he was doing his thing out there, man. I don't know if it's all, if it's mostly Southsiders. I know, I know there's a lot of them out there in Richmond. Mike Hill from 24th and Bryant. Yeah. You know any homies from Body of 500 Gila says, yeah. I, I, one of them got indicted with me. Oh, Roger claims he was one of the Roger the tattoo artist. He claims he was one of the founders of that gang. And he's he's got a he's got a cousin. If you know him, you probably know his his cousin or his nephew whatever they call each other Lardigo. check this out let me let me run this down to you guys okay let me run this down to you so and tell me what you think i'm gonna give you a scenario right here 
Okay. So there was an individual that I I, I gave him I gave him a clavo on, on, on consignment. I gave him a little bit of dope. He uh he ended up fucking off the dope. It was like a quarter pound or something like that, right? So check it out. So like a month later, he, he, he doesn't end up paying that money back. So I start getting on his helmet. I start telling him, check it out, bro. If you don't pay that money back by the end of the month, I'm taking your fucking step side. I'm taking your motorcycle. I'm taking like some of his, some, some cars that he had, a truck, a step side and some other cars. So all good. He understands. Like if I don't pay this money back, homeboy's going to, I got to turn over my pink slips and, 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 and all the shit. Right. So Oh boy starts slinging dope again. He starts slinging dope out of nowhere. I get called one night and he's like, B, I need a, I need an ounce. And I never let him come to my house before to, uh, to pick up no dope. I just didn't trust him like that. But that, that night I didn't feel like going out. I was like, fuck it, bro. Shoot by, shoot by the crib real quick. I got you. So he comes by. Now I've been around this individual before, so I know I know his character. I've done time with him, and he gets there and he's acting funny, and his mouth is dry. He's got chapped lips, and he's just like he's acting funny, man. And so I give him the clavo, I give him the dope, he gives me he gives me some money, and he takes off. Fucking next morning, my fucking door gets kicked in. SWAT fucking BNE Bureau of Narcotics Enforcement uh CSET Santa Clara County Specialized Enforcement Team Santa Clara PD San Jose PD Highway Patrol they all come through my door I get raided <laughs> right so this cat my lady ends up getting out that night I'm I'm a re I'm I'm in trouble I'm locked up I'm looking at life this cat's blowing up my phone. He's calling my lady the next morning. What's, what, what happened to the homie? What do you mean what happened to the homie? Why you keep calling over here? He's fucking locked up. You know you know what happened. So I, when, when I'm locked up in the county jail, man, I'm thinking about everything that happened within the last 24 hours. And I keep thinking about that homie, right? I keep thinking about him. Man, this dude came by my pad. Funny money. Good looking out, man. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. So this dude came by my pad and I get raided the next morning. Okay, maybe it's a coincidence, but check it out. So I'm thinking about like the way he came over, how he was acting. And if you were a cop, right? If you were a cop and you were going to raid somebody's house, wouldn't you want to raid the house knowing that so if you get a you're a cop and you get a search warrant, say you get a search warrant for six six four two thousand twenty two. You sit on that search warrant for a whole week. It's now six eleven, and then all of a sudden you kick the door in. But wouldn't you want to hit that house knowing that there's dope in there? So my thoughts were, they sent that cat inside my house. To make sure that I had dope, he came in, he picked up an ounce. Now, when I'm sitting there, I'm trying to figure out who this person was that, that dumped on me, right? I, I don't even think some of you cats are fucking listening, man. <laughs> anyway, look, man, what, what, what really looks suspicious is when I got the police reports from this dude, there was like 30, it was a 30-page police report. And... 20 28 pages were redacted i got like two pages that they let me see what would you guys think man straight up like he was the one that gave me up right It's all good, Shadow Pit. But um, you know, I'm not gonna put him out there, man. 
because I didn't, I, I never had nothing, but it sure looked fucking suspicious, man. The next morning, I ended up getting raided. The motherfuckers kicked my door in. He came by that night. Then I get a police report, 30 page police report. 28 pages is redacted. And for those of you that don't know what redacted means, it means it's blackened out. They blackened out the whole thing because it must have had incriminating information on there. 28 pages of a 30 page police report were blackened out. Twenty years later, and I'm still mad about that shit. What's up, Shano Michael? Michael Shano? No, J J Cat. <laughs> Pancho Villa, man, good looking out, Pancho Villa. I've been binge, been binge watching war stories and inner demons. Man, they are firebox. Keep up the content. You can tell you weren't adding th- no man there ain't no tapatio on me i just the way it is my boy you can tell when somebody's adding some bullshit, the the, the additives and, and all the extra stuff hey box what's the name of the yards in susanville uh what what yards are you talking about the so you got cascade was the one yard Sierra Yard was the two yard and Lassen was the three yard. At least that's what it was when I was there. Cascade, Sierra, and Lassen. Yes, he was. Uh he was shot in the leg. He was one of the one of the homies that got hit over there. Uh Fucked his leg up too. That was with uh I was with that homie up. Uh, you know, Michael. Nah, Jordan uh Bradford, no sir. Went to Lassen on your first term. And when you went there, uh Mad Max, did they have uh so Right next to the, right next to the, in between the chow hall and the gym, they had a little enclosure that, at least when I was there, that, that used to be my job right there. It was the rec, where the recreation clerk, it was, it was fenced off. And when you guys wanted to get dimes for the weight pile or uh, softball equipment, horseshoes or anything you guys had to come over to that little enclosure and give me your id that's where i used to work i had a whole weight pile back there my own weight pile straight up because i was a recreation clerk but that's why i used to i used to work out with some some samoans over there between the the gym and the chow up Goyle yeah, I appreciate you Vallejo Cal, uh, Cali 707 not boxers nachos uh Lorena, how you doing, Lorena? Shout out to the 831 Salad Bowl in the house. Got nothing but love for the Salad Bowl, man. When you're going to enter. I don't know. Uh, Daily City North Day, I'm not in touch with uh, with him.
<laughs> they don't want to see your tacos, uh, uh, Goyo. Please don't show Goyo's tacos today. I'm just chilling, bro, you know, doing what I do, man. A lot of new names in the chat. Yeah, we like new names over here, man. I appreciate everybody that's tapping in. Straight up. We're going to do it live when we hit 30,000, man. It's a, it's a, it's another milestone for us, man. What up, Box? Roger wasn't one of the founders of Vario 500, the Elas, my pops from, they call him Yero. Okay. Yeah, I figured, I figured he wasn't, you know. Don Pistols, let me ask you this. If every guards at Corkin were setting up these fights for so long, why didn't anybody start doing intel on those guards and have them hit on the outside? <sighs> Wasn't nobody doing it like that. Straight up on me. I mean, and and you know, the way that the way we're looking at it in there, it's like it, it, it was the guards, but it wasn't those guards that were working in the unit that we were dealing with. Unfortunately, it was the it was them cats in Sacramento. It was uh, CDC, the higher ups that were, you know, those guys were justified under a court order. However, they took it out of context. You know, Sacramento didn't tell them to put known enemies on the same yard together however the way that it was worded they tr they tried to justify it when all this shit hit the hit the fan man um uh, they try to justify it later but that's not what they were supposed to do they they took it out of context you know they're eventually i'm going to talk about it in one of these upcoming episodes but you know it, it got to a point where one of the sergeants over there started seeing what was going on he didn't like that shit he started seeing that people were getting killed over there. People were being made to fight that didn't want to fight. And he started recording shit on his phone and started secretly recording shit. And good looking out, Lorena. I appreciate you. Straight up. Thank you for, for supporting the channel. Um, He started taking recordings on his phone and he started record you know i don't know how he was doing the videos but he started recording a lot of the shit that was happening on these yards and then he turned that shit over to the feds and that's how that investigation started and they were trying to kill that cat the green wall <laughs> they ran that cat up out of there because he, he i mean yeah it, but that's the only reason why it stopped. Saludos from El Paso. Was there was there a big Texas car in Cali? You know what? At one time, uh, Carl, Carlo, uh, there was a lot of Tejanos. Like, it seemed like there was a lot more Tejanos in the 80s. In the 80s, early 90s. But they kind of thinned out over, over the years. So you might see one here, one there, one here, one there. Some of them used to ride with the South side or some used to ride with us, but 
they didn't really have a big car, not the places that, I, that I've been. Would they shoot the Berthas three times first? Not always. Sometimes one time. Sometimes two times. Sometimes they just grab the real one. They claim they see a, a weapon. Crack me about seven miles from Oregon, motherfucking Oregon. What part of Oregon? Uh, part of Oregon you from? Only uh, uh, Astoria, Portland. Got people out there, man. He said he was one of the founders from 500 in Gilroy East Side. Stop that, Goyle. And the Ocho Boxer, do you think the Northerners nowadays are watered down compared to the Northerners of the 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s? Yeah, man, I do. I mean, however, I, I think um, I think that they're, they're – a lot of these guys that came out of the shoe, now that everybody's out the shoe, I think they're they're starting to bring that old school mentality back. That's why you're starting to see so many murders out there on these main lines now. Look at fucking, uh, I I just ran something on on uh, high desert, and then Salinas Valley. Look at uh, uh with this with these other Kern Kern Valley. I mean, there, there, uh, there hasn't been this many murders in prison in the last 10, 15 years, but they're starting to bring that shit back now because you got a lot of a lot of NF members out there, a lot of Mexican mafia members out there now that are pushing that line. They want these removals done with weapons. Run some up in them cats, man. Not, you don't want you to run up with the razor, take a couple slices. Or run up with a little fucking uh, a little piece of plastic, poke them a couple times. They they they're starting to push that, take their win. That's what they're doing. I drop. I already dropped it, Dave. Um, Sandman has it right now. However, there's a slight chance it might not get released until tomorrow because I don't I don't think it's it's. I don't think it's up to par, man. I don't. I think I could have did better. So I told him to just check it out. If he thinks it's, it's good enough to go, fuck it, drop it. If not, I'll redo it tomorrow. I like that old school stilo. Look, pants all the way up to the stomach with the cups. Man, it's crazy how things just straight reverse stuff. It's crazy, man. Back in the days, man, used to fucking some, some nice jeans with the little baby cuffs. You know, they weren't hella baggy, all crazy. T. Cerna, good looking out. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. And we like we like new uh, all these new names that, that, that keep popping up in these comments. All you guys that are that are tapping in that are supporting the channel man we appreciate we appreciate all you guys straight up hopefully hopefully we can keep you guys um coming back waiting for pink poodle strip club to open up let's get cracking <laughs> Who's that, Farmetto? What's up? I don't even know who's who no more, man. What's going on, man? Calls behind the walls. You know what? I'm going to bring them back. Uh, 
I'm bringing them back. They've been calling me, man, but it, it seemed like the last couple calls that I released wasn't no, they weren't really getting no traction, man. Nobody was really listening to them. Yeah, don't don't trip on that Farmetto. Come on, my boy. Don't 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 trip on it, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Sparky Buff, man. Thank you, my boy. Have a great and safe night, everyone. Be true to yourselves. Well said. You as well, Sparky. Be safe out there, man. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you for tapping in. Fraylin. What's up, Fraylin? Fraylin? Cam Schmidt. Trying to see what's going on in these comments, man. That's right. Uh, you know, Michael, I appreciate you, man. Raymond Perez, Garnalismo, was to teach our people. Yes, sir. Funky ass tech. What it is, box. What it is. Lenchitas, Lenchitas the bish. Any brass rail stories? Almost. I think we were supposed to go to the brass rail the night that we went to the beehive. One of the, the pink poodle, the brass rail. Isn't the brass rail, isn't that another Hell's Angels? club strip strip club if i remember it is got any stories from palo alto i grew up there just just that one story where <clears throat> i ended up robbing those those uh street dealers for that dope <laughs> when i when i picked up the robberies from the guys that i got released with from the county jail from san jose county jail i got released with some cats from with a cat from the Santa, from the Redwood City County Jail, or San Mateo County Jail, and went on a little trip, man, and then ended up robbing some cats down there in, in uh, East Palo Alto. Other than that, not really, man. Are you familiar with TNJ Market on Alabama and Presida? Yeah, TNJ. Yes, sir. I don't think it's there anymore, though, is it? Um, Alabama and Presida? Mr. Seven Trees, <laughs> what's up, man? Happy Friday to you as well. Wamber. Acero. Dropping any bangers tonight. Well, I released, I sent chapter or uh, episode 32 to Sandman. However, I, I don't, whether or not it's going to drop is is to be, uh, to be decided. I don't know. Matter of fact, let me check right now. I'll tell you right now. Not yet. Rich DM. I got into a brawl in the brass rail a long time ago. Me and my boy, unfortunately, against other homeboys. Two of us versus five of them. Then it turned into two, two of us versus the whole strip club. 
I've been in some shit like that too. Uh, 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 big figures ended up being the whole club. I don't know how to respond to that. Siri, go away. Big Lurch, Big Lurch from Daily City. Big Lurch from San Mateo, okay. So what's what's going on tonight, man? What you guys gonna get into to tonight on a Friday night? I'm about to uh I'm about to go get my money in a minute. Go knock out this arm routine. You need to hit that stash with a little just for men oh man motherfucking gray starting to come through huh? i got like 15 years left homie and it's a wrap i'm gonna be a memory time's going time's uh passing me by bro maybe 20 if i'm lucky man Fox, would you ever let Lancho on the channel <laughs> so we could have a, a friendly conversation? We could hold some dialogue. Shit. Hmm. All right, Box, have a good night, bro. Go get paid. Yeah, I'm going to get my money right now, homie. Straight up. Orange, RZ, Orange Razor. Staying in with the kids watching you. Meanwhile, I make them some quesadillas. That's what's up. Bobby the one, 818. That's it, Boxer. Saludos from the Valle. That's right. Shout out to the motherfucking Valle, man. Cisco. Triple D Dallas, Texas in the building. Stopping by. You're gonna, you're gonna live till you 115, boxer. Mm. Nope. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna allow it to happen. When I get to a point, homie, where life is is the quality of life has diminished and I can't do the everyday things for myself that i do right now oh, man. it's time to go don't 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 waste no fucking money on no coffin you know what i'm saying uh, burn me up throw me in a bottle man and, and that's it I think that's I honestly, man, and, and I mean no disrespect if anybody feels disrespected by it, because I know it's a sensitive issue, but we all gotta die. But I honestly think that the people that that really want to be buried, like, man, what the fuck you wasting all that money for on a fucking box and a little comfortable box that you can't even enjoy? It's not like you you com you're gonna be comfortable. Seven, eight thousand, fifteen thousand dollars. To bury somebody just fucking burn them up keep the ashes 
and and let them save their money, man. Hey, Box, do you know of one of MC? Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, talking about the, the the bike club out there in the city, wanted most wanted. Dump you over the Bay Bridge, over all over the city. Hell yeah. Boxers David Bubbles, real name. Real name from Salinas, huh? Real name. Boxer is David. Oh, oh, it's David. Bubba's real name from Salinas. No, uh, Bubba's Bubba's name is Robert. Robert Hanrahan. I don't know where where David came from. It's uh, uh Robert Robert Hanrahan. movie night with my daughter at eight just wanted to check in that's right raymond man hey respects respects man that's what's up right there silent red said i use my dad's ashes in the tattoos and the tattoo ink for the tattoos i got for him that's right school crusher boxer still talks <laughs> Do you think so? Where'd you get that information at, boy? Robert got like 30 years for a RICO indictment. Yeah, he did. That was we were we were close, man. That was um I lot of love for Bubba. Bubba, Wino, Baki, um, Powder. I knew all them cats, man. Nah, uh, Raymond M., I don't know. I know what's going to happen, man. I might just eat. Might just eat one and thing. <laughs> nah, I don't know, bro. Bullshit. We'll see. I'm just saying, I, I don't want to be a, an old, decrepit old guy that can't really do nothing for miserable because, you know, I, I can't even bend over and tie my own shoe. What up? What up, box? Snack time. Hustle through the struggle. Burn them up, smoke them up. I'm gone. Do your thing, boy. Enjoy that shit, Raymond M. Wessos Rubio. Ayala Brothers, another banger from Mr. Boxer. Saludos, that's the man of peace. That's right. All right, you guys, man. I'm uh, I'm about to go hit the weight pile right now. Demo, demo, demo. Demo. <sighs> Demo, have a good night, Demo. You have a good night, my brother. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe and all that good stuff. But I'm going to go hit that weight pile, you guys, man. Hey, have a have a, a blessed night as well, T-Cerna, uh, 
all you guys uh do not hustle through the struggle uh palmetto uh, big figures uh everybody that supports the channel all you guys that are tapping in uh my boy uh sparky buff t cerna lorena andres juarez where's my boy at pancho villa funny money u2f keys and below appreciate all you guys man that that san cal 805 everybody that looked out man we the support is is appreciated and hey, you guys have a good night i don't know if i'm gonna if i'm gonna be on tomorrow probably not i'll be back it maybe sunday monday i don't know we'll see sandman was supposed to come on tomorrow i don't know if it's gonna happen but I imagine within the next couple of days, I'll be on with him at some point in time, man. I'm trying to finish the, the Q&A that I got, that I've been having for the last two weeks, along with the bonds and the, the, the breakdown in the category system and all that, man. But I'm just trying to at least get the, the inner demons and the war stories out to you guys. So at least still dropping some kind of content. I still got a lot of other ideas for the, for the channel trying to come out with some some little some some type of little cooking show man that some of you guys been talking about and then we're gonna we're gonna bust out with the with the workout videos man so i'm on it you know not gonna be like some of these cats that peel up peel up out of their uh their shirts with the what with the uh, uh with the fucking uh a wife beater man and just looking come on i'm gonna show you how it's done Gonna come up out of your shit. Have something to show for it. Hey, you guys have a good night, man. Keep it positive. Stay positive. And uh keep tapping in, man. Keep tapping in. If you guys aren't getting notifications, check the community. Like I said, usually we try to let you guys know ahead of time if we got content dropping, but I'm gonna try to get these this other Q and A out by the end of the weekend too, man. If my life depends on it, something I'm gonna get something out to you guys. Anyway, with that said, man, you guys have a good night. Enjoy your weekend. I might do an oldie show too. I'm thinking about doing an oldie show on on the weekend, like on Sunday or something. See what's up. Hey, hit that like button on the way out too. One time, man. Come on, come on, man. One time, hit that like button one time. Even if you don't like a motherfucker, god damn. Can you just hit it one time? All right, you guys. You guys have a good night, man. Lo love and respect. I'm out, man. <laughs>